If you have plenty of apples and you'd like to make some sort of an apple pie, but first of all, you may know how to make the pie crust, but if you don't want the big mess in your house, or if you don't know how to make a pie crust, get these shells <clears throat> that come to in a package, and you can make your pie. It's very simple because you put all your apples in the bottom, then you take your egg and you paint all around the edge of the pie crust so it sort of sticks like glue and then you put the, that on the top, make a couple cuts and then you can make your pie like that. Or they have this out now, they never had it a long time ago, where you put them on the counter or someplace until they're thawed out and it's actually a pie crust that you just roll out and put in your pie shell. Or what I'm going to try to do is make it in a cookie sheet type thing and make some pie squares because I love pie squares plus those uh, things they sell at the grocery store in their bakery section, those apple turnovers. But I want to try to make some pie squares. You should have these in the freezer in case you get company that you don't know is coming. You could cut up some apples from your refrigerator and make a pie. Cut your apples ready for the pie and leave them in cold water and lemon juice. There are six cut up apples, I mean six cups of cut up apples. And then one fourth cup of brown sugar, a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar and let me see a teaspoon of cinnamon and a sprinkle of salt and then uh, let me see oh a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg you don't need the nutmeg if you don't like nutmeg and then you mix in an eighth of a cup of flour because what the flour does it keeps it from having too much juice run all over the place and uh, then you dab the top with a few little butter things. I put four on here. Now I'm going to put the cover on. Ready now to go into the oven. I made a few holes on the top so it, the air or whatever the heat can escape. But I will show you when it's done. This was in the oven for 375 for 45 minutes. Each oven is different but as you can notice on this one side a lot of juice came out of here. Now what I'm going to do is top it off with some powdered sugar and water as a frosting. Don't make the frosting too watery. Put powdered sugar in a cup and just a little water at a time so it's in a thickness and not watery. Now it has the powdered sugar frosting on the top. Now that looks delicious. Good cup of coffee and a pie. Yummy, yummy. So it was worth trying it this way.